What you're watching here isn't a dance competition, nor is it the halftime show for a basketball championship. Believe it or not, you're watching the opening act of a math tournament, a citywide math tournament to be exact. Over 500 students, representing 44 schools, will test their mathematics head-to-head -to, -head to claim math champions of New York City here at Harry S. Truman High School in the Bronx. What are your emotions? What are you feeling right now as you're about to start this competition? Yeah, I I'm kind of excited, you know, mixed emotions. How, how's your confidence? Do you feel like you're going to win today? Or? Yeah, I'm going to win. More amazing than these students' commitment to the tournament is the amount of fun they seem to be having. I'm going to try to do my best. I don't know. I'm so nervous, but... I'm gonna do what my I'm gonna have to do my best. Right. You got anything to say about your teammates? Yeah, I'm just so glad they're here. They're so smart. Like they're not, I know they're not gonna let me down. My emotions are mixed, but I'm positive. I have positive energy and I'm confident we might win. Those in competition weren't the only ones excited. Just ask parent Lily Lugo. To see the scoreboard is great, to see how far the schools are doing, but sometimes, you know, you get a little panicked because your children are like, why not they're scoring? Yeah. But, Competing in this PI5NY math tournament is just the tip of the iceberg for these 560 students. Along with their coaches, weeks have been spent preparing these mathletes for battle. Uh, my teacher, Mr. Samuels, he, like, he takes us into groups and we study for it. So we're just basically doing a lot of after school programs to study for this. We just had a good time. I mean, I can't go in too much into depth because I don't want to give away my strategies because then you're going to take them. We had a few after school sessions and the kids were really into it. They were really psyched about trying to do their best. So it was fun and it was interesting. Teacher at AMS, the Urban Assembly School for Applied Math and Science, Rudy Nunez explained the student selection process. Yeah, we, each teacher suggested which students they would feel would be good for the tournament. And students were also enthusiastic about math. It's not just students who are really good at it. You know, we also want, we like people who are interested in it to participate. Now in its fourth year, this math tournament has evolved in every way possible. The venue has changed from a single classroom to a gymnasium, once a Bronx-only event, the tournament is now borough-wide. Mastermind and orchestrator Kenneth Baum explains the anatomy of the competition. Um, this one is highly interactive. We've modeled it after the Final Four basketball tournament, and so you see teams competing head-to-head, -head, grade against grade, borough-wide competitions. Any way we can get kids competing, we have them competing. Among the champions, Bronx students from MS219 took first place in the 8th grade junior varsity division. MS-219 also took third place in the 7th grade junior varsity division. With the 4th Pi 5 NY tournament complete, there is no doubt a higher demand for more students will be in place for next year's competition. For BronxNet, I'm James Terhar.